and welcome back to another one of my smartwatch reviews. This is the EGQINR smartwatch. Now, it's not, it doesn't have a model name on it, but uh, by the time you watch this video, I splashed it up on the previous screen. This is the unboxing. This company sent this to me uh, as a review unit in exchange for a full fair and honest review, which is what this will be. We have an instruction manual here, a user guide. Okay, Chinese on one side, looks like English on the other. Uh, looks like it's going to be using the familiar DayFit app. All right. Um, okay, it's got body temperature, weather information, voice assistant, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen saturation, um, breathing exercises, sleep monitoring. Looks like all kinds of good stuff in here. So if you've never seen one of my reviews, I'm just right now showing you what comes in the box. Then I'm going to go charge this guy up. Then I'm going to go wear it for several days and then come back and give you my full review and run you through all the features and the app. So you get a little charging cable here that will attach to the back of the device using the little magnetic charging pins. There you go. So you would plug this into a USB block. Let's peel that uh, face protector off there, shall we? And this is always so, so satisfying. Oh, to peel that thing off of new electronics. Let's press and hold the button and see if there is any, oh, life in here. Yes, it just vibrated and it came on. Well, I like this watch face. Look at that. That is a really good looking watch face. It looks kind of dim. Let's see if, oh look, there's a brightness setting. Pretty intuitive already. Um, oh boy, at least I thought it was. Let's see, what do we do? Do we tap on it? What do we do? All right, I'll figure that out. But it comes with the, the, the watch itself and it comes with the band. Now it's rubberized on the one side and it's got little grooves in there and I kind of like this design because these kind of tend to grip onto your wrist and keep the, the watch from sliding around. It's got two of these little keeper bands which I like to tuck the tail end in. So let me get the uh, strap put on, let me get this guy charged up, let me go put it through its paces, and I will be back in about, oh, two seconds with my full review. Alright, so we are three days in, and I'm ready to uh, render my final verdict here. Um, you turn this on, this is the watch face I like, the number's nice and big, it's kind of minimalistic, but I, I, that's what I prefer, I just want to see the time. I'm not so concerned about cluttering up the, the opening screen with as many statistics as I possibly can. So hey, it's all personal preference, but to change the watch face, you just press and hold and swipe left and right, and you get into the additional watch faces here. Um, I kind of like the ones with the hour hands too. That one's really neat, especially the fact that the, uh, the second hand is a sweep hand. Um, so it's a good looking dial, good looking display, easy to read. Okay, uh, we come into, uh, okay, let's get to the main screen. You swipe from right to left. I never know if that's a swipe left or a swipe right, but you get your steps at the very top here. You get your sleep um, analysis, your uh, light sleep versus deep sleep analysis. It gives you some good statistics surrounding sleep. And then it gives you your exercise. Again, there are only, um, you know, just a few exercises here. So it's not a comprehensive list of exercises. But then you swipe and you can call. So when you're tethered to your phone via Bluetooth, this thing will actually let you make and receive phone calls through the watch. That feature is really, really cool. So if you're in your car, uh, you can just tap your watch and be hands-free. I like that a lot. Not all of these devices do that. It's got the AI voice, so you can just tap this and give it voice commands to control your various voice-controlled robots or gadgets. Uh, I don't do any of that, so I assume it works. It takes your body temperature. Now, I find this to be probably a little bit too low, but... Um, I suppose if you're constantly monitoring it, if you saw a huge increase in body temperature, uh, you would have cause for concern. You keep on scrolling through, you get to the weather. Again, that pulls that in from your smartphone. It gives you the forecast for the upcoming uh, next several days. And then it's got a shutter. Again, when connected via Bluetooth low energy to your phone, you can use this to trigger your camera remotely. 
Same with the player, it's a music controller to control the music on your phone. It is not an MP3 player. It's got some breath exercises. And hidden in here somewhere is uh, for female menstrual tracking. No, I personally did not have a chance to check that out. I honestly don't even know why you would want to watch to keep track of that for you, um, unless you really have no clue what's going on with your body. But it does do that feature. Um, I'm going to slip this guy off. I'm going to go into the app and go in a little bit deeper. All right, so let's get a little more up close and personal with this watch. You turn it on by pressing the button on the top right here. Um, and as you can see, I swipe down, I get my main controls, my settings. Three days in, it still has 65% battery life, which I think is incredible. All right, you can adjust your brightness, you can adjust the various settings. Brightness just slides up and down accordingly. All right, I have it on the bright brightest setting right now. Various settings, you can turn vibration mode on and off. It's got alarms, I really like this. I can set an alarm. So this watch will buzz, vibrate to wake me up in the mornings and it doesn't disturb anybody uh, who is in bed with me. One of the you know numerous many people who might be in bed with me at the time. It just vibrates on my wrist. It doesn't have an audible alarm. I like this because it's just a subtle, quiet way to wake yourself up without bothering anybody else. Vibration mode. It's got a theater mode where it automatically dims it and... Um, turns off the sounds, puts it on vibration mode, which is kind of neat. You can reset it, you can turn it off, there's the about. Unfortunately, the model name here is T3234S. It does not exactly roll off the tongue, but it is what it is. Now from the main screen, if you swipe from left to right, this gets you into the comprehensive menu system. And this is really, really cool. This is your shortcut to get to anywhere you want to go on the watch. If you want to take your blood pressure, it's there. If you want to do your blood oxygen saturation, it's there. If you want to get the weather, it's there. If you want to check your messages, take a picture, control your music, make a phone call, change your settings, see your number of steps, analyze your sleep, get your heart rate, um, just put it into exercise mode, blood pressure, SpO2, back to the beginning. This is a really really cool menu system. Again, you just swipe uh, from left to right and you're there. Very, very cool. I like this watch. Again, it comes with, I think, maybe six or seven watch faces, but there's a whole bunch more in the app. Um, the me messages work. To get your messages, you just swipe up and uh, you get your messages there. That works just fine. You got to be paired with Bluetooth. So really, really cool. Uh, let's get into the app. The app here is the DayFit app, which we've talked about in previous reviews. It, it seems to be an app that goes with many different watches. But you get your steps, you get your sleep, you can get your sleep analysis, okay? You can look by the week, by the month, uh, by the day. Gives you that breakdown, it gives you a sleep score, your average uh, beats per minute by heart, your lowest heart rate. Um, so really good analysis. Um, scrolling down from there, hold on. Let's go scroll down from there. You get your heart rate. You can do that on demand or you can turn continuous heart rate on, which I have done. You can take your temperature, your blood pressure. Again, not all watches do this. This one is accurate to maybe a little bit low, but I find it to be pretty darn close and I like this. Now you have to do this on demand. It doesn't do it automatically and that makes sense because you want to make sure you're sitting, legs uncrossed, upright. Uh, you know, relaxed arm roughly at the same level as your heart. That's the only way to get a legit blood pressure measurement. Blood oxygen saturation. Again, you do that. Uh, you do that manually. You press the button. It takes about 20 seconds to get that. And your various modes. Now, I went to the gym and did a rowing machine, but I called it swimming just to see what it would do because it didn't have a rowing mode. But it, you know, tells me how long I was in the heart light heart rate zone you know, the, the aerobic weight. So, you know, it just gives me some total uh, beat, the average beats per minute, total kilocalorie burn and how long I was engaged in that activity. And then you can go into the device settings. There you have that magical name, T3234S. That sounds like Marvin, something Marvin the Martian would have uh, stolen from the Earth creature on Mars. Those of you who don't get that, you're way too young. Space 
So here's where you can get into the watch faces. Again, there's many to choose from, and there's an option here for more. Uh, you're likely going to find one that you find acceptable. There's just many, many in here, which I, I like. Um, and then we come down, you know, you can set your notifications, turn them on or off for whichever apps you want, your alarm. And, you know, you can just set some personal goals and whatnot. So the app, is, it gets the job done. It's pretty straightforward. It is the EGQINR T3234S smartwatch with 1.32 screen, IP67, does your temperature, blood pressure, many modes. This is selling for about $80 on Amazon right now. Um, I would call this a watch for somebody who wants to track their general health. It's not an outdoor fitness exercise tracker per se. It's only got the green diode, but it does a very credible job tracking health statistics, heart rate, blood pressure, uh, SpO2, and the feature that sets it apart in my mind is the ability to make and receive calls directly through the watch. Now, you do have to be tethered to your phone, uh, connected blue through Bluetooth, but you can just use this as the phone, and for me, that's the one feature that really sets it apart. Plus, the really beautiful display. Um, I'd say for $80, it's a pretty good buy. Um, like I said, I'll drop a link. If you, you don't know this channel, this channel really is about health and fitness, but primarily kayaking. So uh, I do these reviews really just to try to generate a little bit of revenue through YouTube ad revenue, or if you click through any of my links on Amazon, I get a small uh, commission through their affiliates program. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, so I'd appreciate if you do that. Otherwise, if you want to help but not buy anything or spend any money, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, and if you so find it in your heart to go to my website at DaveTheKayaker.com and make a donation to my kayak business. It's a brand new startup business that I bought last summer from a guy who was selling it. He had retired. I'm trying to save it. I'm trying to get it back in business, and I need a little bit of seed money right now to, to build some demo boats to get people in them so they can test paddle and try them. So there you go. The EGQINRT3234S. That rolls off the tongue. I want to say it as often as possible. For 80 bucks, pretty good value, solid value for monitoring your health. Until next time, I'm Dave the Kayaker, and I hope you appreciate this smartwatch review. If you like this, go to my fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist, and you will find many, many more.